Blue just went, that means I'm alive. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Um, day three, recovery. I'm a little, I just took my, uh, what, are you, what are you fucking lining me up? A little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy this morning because I finally got to put on like a sweater that I like never could fit into before because of like, because of the gyno I had. Do and another 360. <laughs> Twitch partner! Yeah, and like it's funny because like every time like I, I would go to events for Twitch and they would ask me like what size sweater do you need? I'm like 2X. But like their 2X is like extra large. So anytime I would put it up, I couldn't like, I couldn't even like close the sweater before because like my boobs were so big they were just like out here and it just looked all bad. But oh my god, I'm so happy I put this on this morning. I was always tearing up. I was like this is so fucking awesome. And, and uh, you still have padding on. You still have like two yeah, inches of bandages and yeah. gauze and yeah, I still have like two inches of padding. And on. You're swollen and yeah. So this is like definitely gonna look even cooler. But it's like these are the kind of things that I'm really happy for. Like being able just to wear like normal clothing, like that I could never wear before, but I could wear it now just because of one simple thing that's kept me from doing it. And it feels kind of cool. Now I can actually bleed purple <laughs> instead of bleeding red. But uh, yeah, I woke up this morning with a lot of pain. I, fe I feel like I'm actually feeling better walking around than actually sleeping. <laughs> like when I lay down, it hurts more. When I walk around, I don't hurt as much, but I'm not doing any strenuous activities. I'm not, you know, moving shit around. I'm just kind of just going upstairs, downstairs, and just kind of walking around. Like I just went to check the mail. It's a garage sale across the street. We might be going there later. Yeah. I love garage sales. If you ever live in New Jersey, like garage sales is like all they had to do on the weekends. Like, <laughs> you, you go around Kearney or, or Passaic or what? Kearney. In New Jersey, we call it Kearney. In here, over here, we call it Kearney. Kearney. Whatever. For all you guys, anyone out there lives in New Jersey, who uh, let me know how Kearney is said because she says it's how do, you, how do you say it? Kearney here in California. She says in California it's Kearney, California. In New Jersey it's Kearney. And it's the same. Freaking spelling. It's the same exact spelling. So I don't know, in Jersey, we, in Jersey we say Connie. <laughs> you know? So I'm feeling really good this morning. Like I, like, I didn't want to try on the sweater because I thought I was gonna be disappointed. But I saw, I just saw the sweater like on the downstairs. And I'm like, let me just try it on. And it, it fit. It's like a glove. I'm so happy. And I'm like so stoked right now. But uh, yeah, I woke up this morning in a lot of pain. So I took my. I'm a little woozy right now. I took my my oxy. And um, like I said, I've, I've been trying to take full oxys. I've been like just biting half of them every like four hours, and uh, that makes me feel better. It, and uh, last night I passed out. Finally, I got some sleep because I took uh, Benadryl and I took an oxy. So <laughs> oh Jesus! So I, fi I finally got some sleep while my lady over here was getting wasted. <laughs> like, and, and and then being woken up at midnight to take on me or something you didn't got, sing that you were singing some shit last night you were like i was really drunk it's a good yeah. thing they mute pod so it's all right yeah. <laughs> yeah. they didn't mute your pod so i'm feeling iffy like also uh, i know uh d carter was supposed to come over today and hang out but i kind of canceled that because i'm just like not feeling like i can just kind of stabilize myself for like an entire day so i'm just gonna uh rest up after this uh first part of my vlog and we'll see how we feel later but i mean the so far the drainage is Nothing's coming out. It's like, I, I don't know if I should be like worried or if I should be happy. Cause it's like, like if you zoom in now, it's like yellow now instead of red. Oh yeah. So, so yeah, no, that's good. It's good. He, she said it was going to lighten up over time. Yeah. So it lights up, it's going to lighten up over time. And uh, see right now it's, it's almost like it's dry in there. So, I mean, I read online that it could possibly be that it's clogged. No, I don't think I, it I don't, is. I don't think it's that it's clogged. I think it's just that. It's just, that's, I'm pretty much almost done with the draining part of it. Usually, because like the past couple of days when I would stand around and walk around the house, the, you know, the drain would, it would drain easier now. It's just nothing's coming out. So I'm either. That's good. It's, it's a good sign. Yeah. And I've been kind of peeking. <laughs> Still peeking. Yeah. My, my nipples are like black. It's weird. Uh, yeah, they need time to heal. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, so I'm not even going to look. We'll, we'll ask the doctor on Tuesday. We'll, the, we'll let the doctor do it. I don't even care about my nipples. I can't even feel them, so it doesn't matter. All I feel is like, all I feel is like the tingliness of the... Of Drainage. The, of, of the tissue recovering. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it's like, because I've been itchy as fuck, and people are like, well, when you're itchy, that means you're healing. It means the tissue's like growing back or whatever, and... But yeah, so good. far, yeah, but so far, like, the only discomfort I have is literally like in my upper chest, like... I, like I, I, you do not realize how many times you actually use your chest muscle on a daily <laughs> basis. 
just getting up, opening the refrigerator, opening the screen door. But uh, so far, day three recovery. Highlight of my day is being able to fit into my Twitch partner sweater. So awesome. Yeah. So maybe like next week when I can actually pull sh shirts over my head, I could wear my Twitch jersey with my name on the back and. That would be cool. That would be really cool. So thanks everyone for the support. Uh, you guys have been great on Twitter as usual and on YouTube. And uh, subscribe to the YouTube if you want. I'm gonna be doing a lot more YouTube stuff in the future. This is just like the beginning, you know. <laughs> Telly uh, 3.0. And uh, hopefully I, I can hit up that garage sale later. I can tell you about it, and then I'll talk more about uh, that announcement <laughs> yesterday from Waffle and Dan with the Nerd Fusion stuff. We have a few thoughts on that. So I'll see you guys later. Peace. Go. We good? Go. Okay. What's up, guys? It's night time. Day. What day are we? Uh, day three. Day three. Um, yeah, chest discomfort kind of left a little after the day I started watching. I think it's like just when I wake up, you get like that sore feeling, kind of like when you go to the gym and you worked out for like two hours and you wake up the next morning and you're sore. I think I'm having that, but then as I walk out, I'm gonna walk it off the other day, everything ends up being, you know, okay. Um, drainage is again less and less, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm getting some icky stuff in here. I don't know what it is. Louis, <laughs> like, there's chunks of stuff in there. It's like, there my, is. it's like my body or something. It's like yellow stuff. I don't know. Gross. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. Like I'm, I'm still itchy as fuck. Like I feel like I can still feel, I was just mentioning it to a little earlier. Like I, I still feel, I think my nipples where they used to be kind of, unless, cause they said that there's a small chance that, cause it's like a nipple transplant. So they, they removed my nipples and then they replaced them back on my chest where it's supposed to be according to my height. So they're right here, right here, right now. And they're like, tissueing or what's the word I'm looking for they're rebuilding tissue they're rebuilding its tissue to attach to the chest but I have I, I don't they said there's a small chance that you can get the feeling back in the, in your nipples um, in the future but I kind of feel it right now but I think I'm feeling where my nipples used to be like phantom itch yeah like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, call it. yeah it's like a phantom itch I'm like and, and I can't I, I just have to like massage the top of this thing because I can't really scratch it because then I'll hurt myself so, so yes, yeah, so, I mean, I think I'm healing pretty good. I've been doing about three scoops of the aminos every day, the Cellicor, then three shakes from Cellicor. I'm, I'm using all their products, so, I mean, I feel like I'm rebuilding pretty fast. The fluids are light, so that means it's pretty good. That means I should have these out. If I have these out by Tuesday, that means I could probably be streaming by, like, Wednesday, Thursday. Hopefully, it depends. I, it was whatever the doctor tells me. Like, if he thinks that this side is taking more fluid than this one, then he'll say... This one stays in, this one goes out. So it's up to him, really. He'll judge uh, depending on whatever. So, uh, yeah, so it's been a good day. Um, we have three new people in the Hammer Squad today. We got Jax Live, uh, QMG Saint, and uh, Doc Got Game. Give them all invites to the Hammer Squad. Hopefully they rep it in their channel. That'd be cool. Uh, real, three really good streamers. They're males. <laughs> it's like, whoa, Tally didn't fucking recruit a female this time. Ooh. And, uh, oh, and then a big shout out to, obviously yesterday there was a big announcement with like Dan and Waffle and Sevidus, uh, and Bacon and I don't even know who the other guy is. His name was like Paws on Paws or something. I've never heard of him. Um, they started like their own corporation. That was the big announcement, um, called Nerd Fusion, Nerd Fusion, but like N3 RD Fusion. And, uh, it's basically like streamers building their own entertainment company and corporation. Uh, basically, it's like an amazing, smart financial move by them because now they can like start their own corporation, build their own 401k, get their own health care benefits, give themselves salary. So they get, so basically, they're they're starting like their own corporation. I think they're going to be slowly moving it. I mean, they didn't have way too much information. I think they've worked two years just on getting like the company name and everything ready. So now I think they're going to be in Seattle. I'm pretty sure. Based um, in Seattle, yeah. Based in Seattle. So good luck to them. I think that's really cool. I think uh, a lot of streamers now are just going to watch and see what happens with that project and see how well it goes or how bad it can go or if anything crazy happens. Cause, learn from it. Yeah, we can you know, learn from the success and mistakes that may happen in that company. Hopefully all they have is success. But if they have mistakes, it's good for all of us to learn because you know, it's, it's a great idea. I think every streamer would want fucking healthcare and um, in the US, yeah. And the US would be great. I mean, every streamer can already start their own 401k, right? They do the Roth thing or whatever. Yeah, not a 401, it would be a Roth IRA. Yeah, you can do like your own Roth IRA uh, 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 if you're a streamer. But good luck to them. I think that's pretty much it. Um, haven't been doing much gaming. Still been watching Arrow. I'm like on episode like fucking 15. I'm almost all Arrowed out, but I have to watch the first season because it's fucking like 24 episodes. Yeah. It's like, yeah. 20, it's like 24 fucking episodes. You still have two more seasons. 
Yeah, and I still got the <laughs> that. And we still haven't caught up on um, what's House of Cards. House of Cards. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. We still haven't caught up on House of Cards. So um, I'm gonna go watch some more Arrow. I, really, I, just, I just took my oxy for the night. Uh, hopefully that'll just knock me out. Oh, you did some comics too. Yeah, I got the Walking Dead comics and some other stuff. I'm probably gonna read tonight. And um, I think that's pretty much it. I've been doing like a lot of like businessy stuff. Oh yes, uh, yes we have. The past couple of days, <laughs> I've just been working it, man. You know, we got the Hammer Squad Teen Speak getting set up and uh, mod stuff and all Hammer Squad stuff going on. So. Uh, I'm doing a lot of like side work and I'm doing it all from my phone. I'm just laying in bed with my tablet and with my phone just, just going crazy. handling your business. Yeah, but I do miss you guys. I miss streaming so much. It sucks. Like it's like it's kind of like you kind of feel almost borderline useless because you can't really do much. I can't do much. Like today we went to a garage sale <laughs> and um, we, there was a garage sale across the street from our house. And we got like these, this was the two lazy boy couches. Yeah, it was basically like a love seat, lazy boy. Yeah, the two two recliner seats. It has like the cups in the middle with like the little open thing. <laughs> yeah. And she sold it for like three hundred bucks. It's worth like a thousand, but they're trying to get rid of it. It's it's like some some new family that moved in. Sweet baby suede. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a suede brown, and we only paid like three hundred bucks for it. And then I got myself a selfie stick, and little guy herself some like curtain rods. So we got those, and um, we're gonna put. And like it's funny because like we didn't have like a what's it called a trolley or a dolly or what we it? had one dolly or no no we didn't we have no we had, we had yeah we had one dolly and we couldn't get it to go it was such a big couch it, it's just a big couch so I can't help them so I'm, I'm here like watching like two women carry a big ass couch like I mean it's only like a hundred feet away <laughs> one of them was me huh one of them was me yeah Lula and the other. Um, the when lady, the garage sale lady. The garage sale lady. We're both carrying it. And I'm just watching them. And I feel bad because there's like dudes like driving by. And they're like, wow, look at this fucking asshole. Not even helping him with the couch. And I'm, and I'm here with like fucking blood hanging from the sides and shit like that. And, you know, like I told a lady, I'm, lady, I'm like, are you sure you two want to do it? Because we could just wait until maybe your husband comes home. And then like, maybe, so, uh, I don't know. But it was like so bad because like, I could because I can't carry that shit. If I even try to lift that shit, I'll, I'll like rip open my fucking stitches and shit. Mm -hmm. So I was there just kind of holding it a little bit, and we, it was funny because they were just like inching it along and inching it along. <laughs> we had to stop like three times. We had to, and we're only a hundred feet apart, so we. Got, it was like three houses down. So, so we got into the garage. Hopefully, I, hopefully I can get like Bajira and D Carter to my house sometime next week to carry it up the <laughs> stairs when they come visit and put it in the game room over there and. Um, yeah. Whose room are you in? Oh yeah, we're, we're oh yeah, we're in, we're in Lula's streaming room. Go ahead, honey, take a little spin around your room. Okay. Uh, if sure you insist. Make sure there's no addressy stuff. No, there isn't. Everything's good. Okay. All right. So basically, uh, I took the time, lots of free time uh, that I had today to like you know make my room so I my streaming room you know better so I'm not putting the window so uh, I have some Captain America st uh, you know on the wall. This is actually pretty cool. I got this in Comic Con in 2007, 2006 it says right there. Um, they were like limited edition stamps that they give away that the post office like, you know, stamped ahead of time. Uh, this is my calendar, other stuff. This is my setup right there. She Bam. Has a, she has the Razor Siren. I Rock got the Razor Siren. Rock I've got the uh, HyperX headset. I've got my Black Widow and Naga. Don't worry about that shot glass. Ignore the shot glass. All right, so then you know bookshelf. My mom gave me that. It's like her prized pos framed possession. That's pretty cool. And you know because uh, my room has to be soundproofed. You know I have the lovely Wildstar poster. This is a really nice poster. I really like the poster. Oh, uh, let me show the gaming room really quick. Then here's our gaming room coming up. This is our, our gaming room. We're still working on it, as you can see. But the, the couch is going to be right here against the wall. Yeah, the couch is like going right to be right here. Um, Barely going to yeah, fit in here. Because we have a, a TV over here, which I want to like mount up, but I have to get the brackets for it. And right. We have all our DVDs, Blu-rays here, all our figurines over here. I still got to put together my Voltron. Jesus Christ. We got the H1Z1 stuff. Some uh, one, of our, one of the viewers got me the... The order 1886 clutches edition. So we have That's a lot of mine. shit. Yeah, this is this is the, this is the cable corner. <laughs> this is like, this is like, this is the like black hole fucking, of cables. The black hole of cables. At least it's only confined to a cubby, which I gotta shove back in there. But that's cool. Yeah, that's it. So that's pretty much day three. 
recovery time. So tomorrow, day four, I'm feeling better every day. So hopefully, I'm trying to rest as much as I can. I really, even if I wanted to stream, like I said, I can't. When I sit down, these things like bother me. So after 30 minutes of sitting down, I have to stand back up. So like, I'm just, like I said, when it comes to streaming, I'm not gonna half-ass it. I'm just gonna do it when I'm ready. So hopefully, if they take both of these things out on Tuesday, we ready, so I'll see you guys tomorrow for recovery day four, four and I'm gonna go watch some Arrow, peace.